friendly. Outstanding. Brave. Helpful. If I could describe CITC in one word, I would probably use the word willing. Working for CITC has enriched my life by just giving me a purpose. You know, I wake up in the morning and I'm excited to come to work. I get to do these assessments for all these people and I get to help them on this journey to a new healthy lifestyle. You know, and I get to go home feeling fulfilled and like I was a part of something. Uh, we have many wonderful different programs that directly impact our people, education, uh, employment and training, recovery services. They all work together really to help provide our people with opportunities. Super Walmart of Services. Awesome. Impactful. Family. My name is Kevin Williams. I am an administrative assistant up on the third floor with Alaska's people. When I first came to CITC, I didn't ever think I'd be part of the CITC family. And the way the people work here and the way they bond, I've heard a lot of companies say that we're like a family. These people actually treat CITC employees like they are family. And every time I see an employee from CITC, whether it's TANF or Alaska's people go above and beyond the call of duty, it really touches my heart because it shows that they do care about the people, that they do care about what happens to the people, and that they want something better for them. We help families to become better parents and stay as a family unit. And it's very rewarding to see that you've you know, made a difference in people's lives for the better. When we first get the families in to see kids that are really, uh, don't have their parents engaged in their lives, to watch kids cry you know, when they have to leave their parents um, and go into foster care, it's really impactful. It makes me uh, motivated to keep on doing what I'm doing, um, to keep uh, working hard to help parents uh, understand that they're really important to their kids. CITC has done a lot for my family and it helped us when I was young too. So it makes me feel really good that I've helped someone reunite their family together. For me, I, I think it's really being able to see the success stories. At our all staff meetings many times past when people have shared their stories, about where they've come from and hearing the terrible tragedies that people have had to go, go through and then listening to how CITC has helped them become who they, who they are today and, and the support that they received, um, you know, that's, that's huge. Giving. Helpful. Progressive. Caring. My name is Jim Nyholm. I work for Recovery Services and I cook over at Ernie Turner Center. I think uh, love is an actual perceptible flavor in food and people can pick up on it when you uh, put it into it. I uh, have done the chefing at uh, downtown restaurants, restaurants all over the state at the executive chef level. I've been in the magazines and all that and I get more out of doing this than, uh, than any of that. Being in recovery myself, I wanted to give back a little bit and uh, help out those that I, that I understand. We do deal with situations that are tough. And one thing is case management, we, we are empathetic to their situation. And then to me, that hits my heart. I've been in situations similar to a lot of these clients. I've been homeless. So with me being able to relate with them and letting them know that we're not gonna have hard times forever. We all experience hard times. I tell them, look, I'm one paycheck of being a, a client myself. So I'm willing to do whatever it takes to assist you in becoming self-sufficient. That's my job. I'm in the people business. My hope for the future for the young population that they will pass on their culture they had learned from their elders. You know, people say the children are the future, and they really are. So. What we feel like we're doing is not just preparing students for the future, but also giving them 
the foundation of their past in order to be able to be successful in the future. You can't go forward unless you know where you're coming from. I think on my part is just uh, making sure they, they don't give up and uh, just encourage them to, that they can do it. They can do it just as well as anybody else. No matter who they are, they still can do it. So we just encourage them to not give up and keep striving. Cohesive. Love. Great. It's a very encouraging organization to work with and after so many years in education, I feel really privileged to be able to spend what are probably the last few years of my educational career with Cook Inlet. Most classrooms in the district right now are, um, you know, increasing in size because of loss of teachers. Our, you know, our primary classes are going from 25 to 30, and some of the middle school and high school classes are 35 and 40. Here, my biggest group is 10 children and maybe four parents, so 14 people. The potential is endless. The, I mean, I was just floored the other day when one of my former students at the schools with CITC said, Mrs. Crosby, and I looked over and there, there she was. She's an intern at the Coho Cup now, and she told me her plans for next year as a senior in high school were to take college classes at UAA and to go on and become an airline pilot. And those kinds of, that kind of potential just sends chills down my spine. Why am I here? because it enriches students' lives. We're doing a good job, we're making a difference in their lives. You know, I wouldn't continue to be here uh, if I didn't think that were true. Um, there's a shared sense of responsibility in raising our kids and uplifting the community. So it's not just my son, but it's your son and everybody else's son and daughter. And CITC really strives to meet those needs. When I first started working here, I was mostly with kids and to see that how much they were learning and how much fun they were having, that made me catch feelings. And the colleagues, yes, they're more like, they don't really treat you like you're above, like managers or leads or team workers. No, we're all like the same even though I'm just an intern. Excellent. Inclusive. Opportunity. Family. My name is William Starnes and I'm the facility maintenance and I'm a counselor in training. I'm also alumni and I was here three years ago. July 2nd of 2010 was my last drink. Thought about, you know, uh, how to stay out of jail. And, and how to stay, learn how to stay sober and learn how to live life. And I didn't know how to do either one of those. So I, uh, you know, gave treatment one more shot and I ended up here. I, I just turned four years old on, on July 3rd. That's the longest I've been sober in my adult life and it's from uh, this program, Ernie Turner Center. It's like a family atmosphere. I, I like it here, I love it here, and uh, I enjoy my work, and I feel like I'm helping, I feel like I'm doing something productive, you know, and useful. I'm very proud. I'm proud of CITC. I feel pride in that I had a piece in it, and also that, uh, that the, all the work that we do together as a whole in this community has made it possible for people to change their lives and live in a healthy manner. I feel valued. Um, in accounting, I don't really directly interact with participants, but I feel like what we do in accounting and administration, is we provide you know, support to the departments that do interact directly with the participants. The, the, the mission and the characteristics of those people kind of just carry through the entire organization. I think that the reason why I've stayed at CITC for 17 years is because of the people I work with. And seeing, you know, I don't provide direct services, but I see how the direct services they provide impact them because of the people they're helping. And working with people like that that really make a difference makes working here even better. I'm behind the people that provide the services to the people, which is the most important thing. Supporting the people that have to do the really hard work, that's what makes me happy. 
of what I know of, of cooking with Tribal Council, all they really do is try to help people. And that whole building is, uh, is just nothing but uh, offices of, filled with people that, that are helping other people. Thank you.